described uh, an extraordinary transformation in himself 15 years ago. Uh, he was a, uh, a busy surgeon, he's still a busy surgeon, um, uh, with very little taste for music. I was on a phone in a lightning storm. I uh, was struck and I had an, a profound out-of-body experience, near-death experience. And I remember thinking, oh shit, I'm dead. But he wasn't. He walked away and seemed completely normal. But then about three weeks later, he developed what he called a sudden passion, a sudden insatiable desire to hear piano music. Tony, who himself actually has a, uh, a PhD in neuroscience, as well as being a surgeon, he said, as, as a medical man, he said, I can't explain it. Sicoria, who'd only been interested in rock and roll, began to listen to classical music, took piano lessons to learn how to play, and then started to compose himself. He had a dream one night, and when he woke up, his own music was pouring through his mind, and he was desperate to play it or transcribe it. That was the piece of music from the dream, and, and actually that was the that was the final chorus that woke me up out of a sound sleep. And from that point on, I would sit down and would just start to play. And it, it never seemed to change and it never seemed to go away. It was just always there. You know, if you had come to me with a story like this, I would have thought, you got a few loose screws here somewhere. But suddenly I'm, I'm one of those. I have no explanation for it. In talking with Dr. Sachs, he thinks that the part of my brain's been rewired. And certainly, I think that to some extent that's true. One often thinks, you know, one's plasticity, one's ability to learn, one's ability to do anything new ends with childhood. It clearly doesn't.